for this lab is to calculate the velocity of the glider car, V. By doing this, you will learn a little bit about just the stuff you've picked up in class and see a practical application of it. For instance, a car between two points like St. Louis and Rolla. So in order to calculate V, you have to know the delta X and the delta T. This is how much the distance the car has moved and this is how long it took to do it. As you can see here, this is the distance of the end point and where he started. Same as when you, when you got there and when you started out. And this is the primary piece of equipment you'll be using for this lab, the glider car. This, on top is the vane or flag or fin, it's called any of these things. This here is the pump. You use this because this is a frictionless surface that the glider car runs over. Please don't ever run this without the pump on. And finally we have the photo gates which are basically timers in this case, but occasionally they determine speed and velocity according to the experiment. For this particular experiment, we'll be uh, calculating the elapsed time between two photo gates. And for performing this experiment, the idea is to have the flag pass between the photo gates in such a way as it blocks the gate. So, in order to do this, we essentially turn on the pump, Give the glider car a push, it passes through the first gate, then through the second gate. Notice how the cords are, cl it's cl uh, how the cords are clear of the gate so that the car passes through unimpeded. Data Studio interfaces with the science workstation down here. As you can see, the photo gates are actually connected to channels 1 and 2 in this case, 